inspired to become an agent. This is like off the air, right? I love it. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Abundance Tapping Workshop. I'm thrilled you're all here, whether you're listening, whether you're on the call live or listening to the recording. Congratulate yourself for giving yourself the gift of this hour. Um, the theme is receiving. And as women, often we can be overgivers. So this is all about expanding your capacity to receive. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate Winch, originally from England, hence the accent. And um, I've been teaching tapping for over 15 years. It still blows me away most days, whether I'm using it on myself or whether I'm using it um, with clients. And I love this technique because it is so powerful. You can do it on yourself if you're having a tough day. So once you know how to tap, you've got this amazing tool at your fingertips. Um, how the workshop will go today is we'll do a little meditation visualization first. I'll talk briefly about tapping and how it works and then I'll work with several of you. If anyone else wants to turn, you can send me a private message and um, I will, if there's room, I will work with you. Welcome to Cinta, great to see you. So um, give yourself the gift of this hour. We're going to start with the visualization. So close your eyes, hands on your heart, three deep breaths. <sighs> Taking a moment to set the intention of today's session. Thinking about what you want to let go of, and what you want to bring in. Imagine you are on a beautiful white sandy beach. The sun is shining. The waves are lapping against the shore. And you're carrying this big, heavy backpack that's weighing you down. All the stresses and burdens of anything you're dealing with currently, any past burdens, fear, worry, guilt, shame. Anger, grief. All beliefs, I'm not lovable, something's wrong with me, I'm not good enough. Whatever you're carrying with you. And you realize that you don't need to carry this with you any longer. So you put this backpack down and this whole weight is lifted off your shoulders, giving all these burdens all these stories to the universe to handle or God or the divine, whatever word resonates with you, source. And you just keep walking, letting go of being general manager of the universe, And each step you take, you're calling back your power from all dimensions of time and space. Safe to shine, safe to succeed, it's safe to love, safe to be loved safe to receive all the good the universe has for you. Deep breath. 
And again, calling back your power from all dimensions of time and space. And you lie down in the sand and the waves are lulling you to sleep as you go deeper and deeper relaxed. Breathing in divine love into your mind into your heart, into each and every cell of your body. Showering yourself with tremendous love and compassion. Safe to shine, safe to be you, safe to receive. Love, abundance, joy. Deep breath. Taking a moment to connect with your younger self. Often, if we are freaking out or anxious or worried or upset, it can be that very young part of us. Taking a moment for your, for your adult self to give your younger self a hug, letting them know that you love them. And asking them, what do you need today so that you feel safe, loved and supported and that you're really getting your needs met. Deep breath. <sighs> Giving your younger self a hug, placing them in your heart, letting them know that you can, they can call on you anytime. traveling down the timeline of your life to your future self. It's a year from today, giving your future self a hug and asking them what advice, what words of wisdom do you have for me as I move in the direction of my dreams? There you are, happy, healthy, wealthy, loved, safe, cherished, living your best life. What words of wisdom does your future self have for you? Deep breath. Coming back to your present self. Deep breath. <sighs> Hands on your heart, tuning in and saying, and asking, what do I need for my healing today? So that I feel loved, safe and supported and I'm really getting my needs met. And again, stretching your fingers and toes, loosening your jaw, opening up the chest, expanding your capacity to receive, 
love, joy, abundance, health, vitality, all the good the universe has for you. Safe to receive, safe to relax, and enjoy the journey. Listening to your inner wisdom each and every step of the way. Safe to shine, safe to succeed, safe to be you. Breathing in divine love into your mind, into your heart, into each and every cell of your body. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Feel free to jot down any notes. And a warm welcome to you all. I'm going to pick a self-love card for the group. See what the message is. The perfect card. Um, lighten your load. So if you're wanting to receive more, you have to let go. <laughs> so this is just the perfect card. What in your life is no longer serving you? And it could be just, if you just clear out your physical clutter, watch the miracles happen. It's like modern day alchemy. Um, if you're feeling stuck or you want to receive more good in your life, you'll feel 10 years younger and you'll notice as soon as you let go of that stuff, money comes in, love comes in, you feel better, relationships improve. Like it's just such a magical, simple thing. So there's the clearing of physical clutter, but there's also mind clutter, body clutter, any old emotions that you've been hanging on to that no longer serve you. So the message, um, it's difficult to see clearly what needs to be done when your environment is burdened. So really look at, um, you know, as Marie Kondo says, does it spark joy? And you can really use that in any area of your life, whether it's physical stuff or hobbies or passions or people, do they spark joy or do they leave you feeling drained? So it's the beginning of the year. This week, um, homework is to just let go of all, let it all go and watch the magic happen. You know, it's the, the resistance to, to clearing clutter can be strong. So if you do get resistance, you can tap on this resistance and the procrastination. Wait, I've got a procrastination video I can send you. Okay, so most of you are familiar with tapping, but I'm going to just talk briefly. I know Tamar's new. Who else is new to tapping? Anybody else? You can just raise your hand if you're new. You're all familiar with it. Okay, so I'll just do the uh, quick introduction. So abundance tapping, as I like to talk, uh, call it, because I find when we tap, new worlds open up when we clear the fear and worry and the anger and the guilt and shame and relax we can actually be open to receiving more good eft emotional it's also known as eft emotional freedoms te freedom techniques like acupuncture without the needles negative emotions get stored in our body and create this disruption so you can have a trauma from your childhood or we have many traumas throughout our lives and it's anything you think of from your past where you tense up and you're still triggered when you think of that memory. Anything from your past that you tune in and it's still a trigger is telling you, oh, you're still carrying it in your body and your mind. And the tapping can be wonderful for clearing those old traumas and um, blocks. Um, I also do a, a special technique called the matrix re-imprinting, which is very good for clearing old, old traumas um, in the one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you need support, feel free to just send me a message. Um, so there's an expression, try it on anything. So you can use it for finances, for health issues, physical pain, a relationship stuff really whatever you're dealing with. I used to have a fear of shining and being seen. You would never get me in front of a room and I was painfully shy and I used tapping to clear my fear of shining and being seen. 
and now I teach, well, pre-COVID, I would teach live workshops. And uh, so now we're on Zoom. But um, yeah, I love helping people put themselves out there. I find pe a lot of people are hiding out and they're really gifted, but they have trouble putting themselves out there. So I love helping people do that. So um, let's just go over the tapping points real quickly. So you've got, this is the karate chop point. So it's the side of the hand, either hand is perfect. You can do this if you prefer. I'm gonna lead you through a sequence of words. You'll repeat them after me. Change the words anytime if I say anything that doesn't resonate. And then I'll say eyebrow. We'll go here where the brow ends near the nose. Side of the eyes, underneath the eyes, nose, chin, collarbone, underneath the arms, you can cross your arms over. It's like four inches down from the armpit, or you could do this if you prefer. Tamar, you might, might wanna practice so you can, <laughs> and then the rib cage, it's like just below the nipple, like two inches below on the rib cage, down here, and then two wrists together, finishing with the top of the head. Deep breath. What happens is negative emotions get stuck in our body and stored and create a disruption in our energy system. So the tapping gets everything flowing again. And it's like acupuncture without the needles. And it's working with the body and the mind. So that's the nutshell. And if you want any more scientific evidence, there's so much online about it. But um, that's the basic points. Any questions before we begin about the tapping points or anything you want to say before we begin? Are you clear on the tapping points, Tamar? Oh, you have to unmute. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't remember them by heart. I mean, I would have to watch and get some modeling. Yes, you'll watch me. Yes. Okay, you'll just follow. You. Yeah, you'll just follow along. Perfect. Okay, so um, we're going to work with Sherry first. And um, the great thing is, uh, there's a term called borrowing benefits. So who, even if I don't work with you today, you can tap along, think of your issue, give it a number zero to 10. So as I said, the theme today is blocks to receiving. What's in the way of you receiving more good, more love, more abundance, more vitality? Uh, what are you blocked around? It could be fear, anxiety, anger, guilt, grief, shame, or a belief I'm not good enough or I don't have what it takes. So I'd like you all to see what's in the way of receiving more. And if it's not your issue and you want to pick something else you're dealing with, pick that issue and use your words as we tap along. So Sherry, welcome. And then, so just so you know, I'm going to work with a couple of you. You'll all tap along and get the borrowing be benefits. And if you have questions, you can also put them in the chat. Sherry, good to see you. Tell me how I can best support you. Um, this is perfect because uh, I've been thinking a lot about uh, self-sabotage. So that's oh, yeah. Been, yeah, I dug myself out of a dark depression and now I'm like looking at um, patterns. And the one thing that came up was I tend to self-sabotage um, mentally and physically, like mental blocks, like decluttering. I'm like, oh, it's too much. Or physically, I, I will hurt my hand or I'll hurt something. And so it just seems like to be a recurring pattern. And I want to break that because I always, I never thought of myself as having those patterns, but it's kind of scary. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, it can be very common. Like we yeah. have we have a vision and a dream and then we'll uh, sabotage that success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what number is that sabotage? The part of you that's sabotaging, procrastinating, doing things to make sure you don't succeed. Mm -hmm. And it's high, zero is low. Um, I'd probably say 10 if I had to. It's come what, down a little bit. <laughs> so. The primary emotion. Um, fear. Fear. Where do you feel that in your body? Um, in my heart. And um, it's a very common issue, sabotage. Why? What's your theory in a nutshell about why you think you do it? Ooh. Why do you think you don't want to succeed? Um, 
I guess just for from fear of um, you know being like people not liking what I have to share or not. Mm. You know. Fear of being rejected. Yeah, fear of being rejected or you know like not made fun of, but just just my work is not good enough or up to par. Okay. All right. Thank you. So um, everyone, pick an issue. Ten is high, zero is low. Tap along. You're all on mute, so you can change the words anytime. And repeat after me. We always start with the part of us that doesn't want to change. So part of us is like, of course I want to let this go. And another part saying, no way, I have to hold on to this. So we're going to the karate chop points. Even though I have all this fear of being rejected and failing. Even though I have all this fear of being rejected and failing. And I don't know how I can let it go. I don't know how I can let it go. Maybe it doesn't seem possible. Maybe it just doesn't seem possible. I wonder who I'd be without this fear. I wonder who I'd be without this fear. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, gosh, I wouldn't uh, recognize myself. I wouldn't recognize myself. I wonder who I'd be. I wonder who I'd be. And I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. Close your eyes, deep breath. Even though I have all this fear of being rejected. Even though I have all this fear of being rejected. It is not safe to put myself out there. It's not safe to put myself out there. And I don't know how to let this go. I don't know how to let this go. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. I can't relax about this. I can't relax about this. I have to be on guard. I've got to be on guard. I have to protect myself. I have to protect myself. But I accept who I am. But I accept who I am. And I appreciate my feelings. I appreciate my feelings. Deep breath. <sighs> Even though I have all this fear of shining and being seen. Even though I have all this fear of shining and being seen. All this fear of putting myself out there. All this fear of putting myself out there. I'm so afraid of being rejected. I'm so afraid of being rejected. And I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. Close your eyes, deep breath. And then we're going to the eyebrows. All this fear of being rejected. All this fear of being rejected. Side of the eyes, all this fear of being um, rejected. All this fear of being rejected. Underneath the eyes, I'm so afraid of failing. I'm so afraid of failing. Nose, all this self-sabotage. All this self-sabotage. Chin, all this um, fear and worry about what they think. All this fear and worry about what they think. What if they don't like me? What if they don't like me? Underneath the arms, what if they don't think I'm very good? <laughs> what if they don't think I'm very good? Rib cage, I'm so afraid of being rejected. I'm so afraid of being rejected. All this resistance. All this resistance. All this procrastination. All this procrastination. It's so exhausting. Ugh, so exhausting. And I have suffered so much about this. I've suffered so much about this. I'd really like to let it go. I'd really like to let it go. From the deepest root causes. From the deepest root causes. All this fear and worry. All this fear and worry. Collarbone. All this um, old guilt and shame about what I did or didn't do. All this old guilt and shame about what I did and didn't do. Underneath the arms, all this pressure to be perfect. All this pressure to be perfect. Ribcage, it's so exhausting. So exhausting. Two wrists together, and I'm so tired of suffering about this. I'm so tired of suffering about it. I'm so tired of shooting myself in the foot. <laughs> I'm so tired of shooting myself in the foot. <laughs> I'd really like to stop turning against myself. I'd really like to stop turning against myself. And, um... Um, getting in the way of my success and getting in the way of my success I'd like to let go of being general manager of the universe I'd love to let go of being general manager of the universe and give this to the universe to handle give this to the universe to handle 
I don't need to do it all by myself. I don't need to do it all by myself. It is safe to relax about this. Mm, it's safe to relax about this. And trust the divine order of my life. And trust the divine order of my life. That rib cage, knowing that good will come out of this situation. Knowing that good will come out of this situation. Two this together and that good lies before me. Good lies before me. Top of the head. I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. It is safe to shine and succeed. It is safe to shine and succeed. It is safe to be me. It is safe to be me. What they think of me is none of my business. What they think of me is none of my business. What I think of my business. What, what I think of me is my business. What I think of me is my business. <laughs> Collarbone. I love feeling calm and confident. I love feeling calm and confident. Underneath the arms. The truth is my people, the people who, who love me will love me. Well, the truth is the people who love me will love me. Rib cage and the people that don't won't. And the people that don't won't. Two wrists together. It's safe to shine. It's safe to shine. Top of the head. It's safe to be me. It's safe to be me. Top uh, eyebrows. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling surprisingly inspired and motivated. I love feeling surprisingly inspired and motivated. I love feeling calm and confident. I love feeling calm and confident. I can't wait to take action. I can't wait to take action. I listen to my inner wisdom. I listen to my inner wisdom. I know what to do. I know what to do. I, I love being me. I love being me. Close your eyes, hands on your heart. Three deep breaths. Mm -hmm. Zero to 10, this self-sabotage, this fear of being rejected. 10 is high, zero is low. Somewhere between a five and a seven. So we'll say six. Okay, beautiful. Down a little. It's, yeah, yeah. It's got a lot of work to do. But... Yeah, you've come from 10 to a six, which is a whole different vibration. What are you present to? How are you feeling right now? Um, I feel, I'm still feeling a little anxious. I'm, I trying to figure out a way or how to get out of my head when I like think about, um, you know, I say somebody says something to me and I just, it just fixates in my head for years and years and years, like something negative. And then yeah. I carry that with me. So that's something that I really need to learn to forgive and let go of. Yeah. Is there a particular sentence that sticks in your mind? Oh my gosh. I could, um, uh, there's, let's see. Um, oh, this is a good one. It's horrific, but I was walking, I live in Los Angeles and I was walking down to the beach. This was like four, maybe five, six, five, six years ago. And this bike rider came up and passed me and said, you fat piece of shit. Yeah. So I remember that, like, how am I not going to take that in? You know? And I'm just like, okay. Yeah. So I, I, like, did somebody just say that to me? So it's like, I get comments like that from people, not all about weight and stuff, but other things, but that oh, was in my sorry. head. I know yeah. it's a horrible thing. So I'm like, I think about stuff like that. Um, I'm sure there's other, there's obviously yeah. other ones, that's the one that's coming in my head. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry that happened to you. So what you can do, yeah. obviously, um, you know, you can tap on the next round when I work with the next person, yeah, yeah. like, even though what you do is you dissolve the charge, you know, even okay. though they said, you know, yeah, whatever they said, you know, and you can tap on the, the sentence over and over again. Okay. Like until it diffuses and okay. then, you can get more neutral. Okay. Yeah. I, that's, I think what I need to do. Cause I'm sure I have a million other sentences that people have said to me and I just take it, take it. But then I'm like, after a while, I'm like, wait a second, that's fucked up. <laughs> or, you know? So I think I carry that with me. So okay. totally. So that's where you'll go next, you know, go on this, uh, as we continue to tap, yeah. that's where you'll go next. And you know, you've come from a 10 to a six, which is a great shift. A huge, yeah. Huge you'll keep going down um, and just make sure you get support. If you want to do a one-on-one -on -one session on that or anything, I think it'd yeah. be really helpful. Yeah, no, I definitely, this has been, I love 
this has been my new thing. So I'm oh yeah. yay. Thank you so much. Thank Sherry. you. Thank you guys. Um Mar any questions, thoughts, or comments, you can put them in the chat. Marguerite. Yes, hello. Hi. Well, Hi, how can I best support you? Okay. Okay. Let where to begin? Um trying to climb out of a dark depression, trying to align to the stuff I put on a vision board. Um, I think I've been surrounded by a lot of adults who basically tell me like, oh yeah, you're sort of seeing, like I haven't, I feel like I'm seeing the world for the first time, like how hard it is with like money and finding a house and like finding a job and all this stuff. It just feels life is like officially cynical and hard. And I have adults who are kind of saying like, yep, it's true. It is terrible. And mm -hmm. Um, I just feel we're in this big suffering. Um, I want to get somewhere new. I want to like climb out of this dark hole and get somewhere new. Um, there was a word, there was a certain phrase that I wanted to work with. I'm trying to move into like a new apartment, but it's going to take me like spending a lot more money and like doing it with like a risky, you know, I'm going to like, I would get a new apartment before I have sort of like a full income. So it's kind of like, Mm -hmm. scary I think maybe restoring trust in the universe is mm -hmm. like restoring trust in myself and restoring trust in like life itself I think is important like right now I'm just like yeah. every, like I don't know anybody who's doing well like everybody is just like so sad and broke like we're not broken we're unfinished said mm -hmm. that poet today at the inauguration yes yes so uh life is a struggle 10 is high zero is low uh eight and the primary emotion. Uh, kind of like I've been punched in the stomach, disgust, nausea. Mm. Like I'm so sick of it. It's like all the things I have to do. I'm sick of it. I don't like my to-do list. Like I wish I could just like give it up and start fresh. Are you anxious and, and sad as well or angry? More like tired, like eating like chocolate cake out of the freezer, like doing like mm. heavy, you know? Yeah, it's kind of despair, despair, kind of, yeah, yeah. resigned. Mm -hmm. So this belief, life is a struggle. So if that resonates with you, obviously it's been a very difficult time for so many people. So 10 is high, zero is low. Give it a number. If it's not your issue, feel free to tap along and, um, and pick something else, whatever you're dealing with and change the words, okay? Say your words as you tap along, say how you feel. And Marguerite, you can change the words anytime. Even though I have this limit, this old limiting belief that life is a struggle. Even though I have this old limiting belief that life is a struggle. And I don't know how I can let it go. And I don't know how I can let it go. There's so much evidence to prove this is true. There's so much evidence to prove this is true. I wonder who I'd be without this belief. I wonder who I'd be without this belief. And I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. And I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. Close your eyes, deep breath. Even though I have this old limiting belief that life is a struggle. Even though I have this old limiting belief that life is a struggle. And I don't know how I can let this go. And I don't yet know how I can let this go. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. I can't relax about this. I can't relax about this. I have to be on guard. I have to be on guard. I have to protect myself. I have to protect myself. But I accept who I am. But I accept who I am. And I appreciate my feelings. And I appreciate my feelings. Deep breath. <sighs> Even though I have this old limiting belief that life is a struggle. Even though I have this old limiting belief that life is a struggle. I feel so tired and resigned. I feel so tired and resigned. So disgusted and nauseous. So disgusted and nauseous. And I love and accept myself anyway. 
and I love and accept myself anyway. Deep breath. And then we're going to the eyebrows. All this struggle. All this struggle. Side of the eyes, all this nausea. All this nausea. All this despair. All this despair. Those, all this evidence about how hard life is at the moment. There's all this evidence about how, how hard life is at the moment. Shin, part of me feels so resigned and cynical. Part of me feels so resigned and cynical. Collarbone, part of me wonders whether anything's ever gonna change. Part of me wonders whether every, anything is ever going to change. Underneath the arm, all this heaviness in my heart. All this heaviness in my heart. Rib cage, all this depression. All this depression. Two ribs together, it's so exhausting. It's so exhausting. Happy. Is there anything else you'd like to say about how it is for you? No. I have suffered so much about this. I have suffered so much about this. All this lack of trust in myself and the universe. All this lack of trust in myself and the universe. Oh, I thought of one thing. So much loss of trust in like fundamental, like family, the lover who just like, you know, the grief of losing the love. It's like so much loss of trust in family. Yeah, I'm so sad and disappointed. I'm so sad and disappointed. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. All this anger at them. All this anger at them. All this anger at myself. All this anger at myself. All this sadness and grief. All this sadness and grief. All this guilt and shame about what I did or didn't do. All this guilt and shame about what I did or didn't do. All this loss of power. All this loss of power. All this pressure to be perfect. All this pressure to be perfect. It's so exhausting. It's so exhausting. And I have suffered so much about this. And I have suffered so much about this. I'm really ready to let it go. I'm really ready to let it go. From the deepest root causes. From the deepest root causes. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Letting it go. Letting it go. Letting it all go. Letting it all go. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's safe to let this go. It's safe to let this go. I let go of being general manager of the universe. I let go of being general manager of the universe. Everyone who's on mute, speak out loud. Speak the words and say how you're feeling. And I give this to the universe to handle. And I give this to the universe to handle. I don't need to do it all by myself. I don't need to do it all by myself. Um, I choose to give this all to the universe. I choose to give this all to the universe. Good lies before me. Good lies before me. Good comes out of these challenges. Good comes out of these challenges. It is safe to relax about this. It is safe to relax about this. And enjoy the journey. And enjoy the journey. I love feeling calm and confident. I love feeling calm and confident. I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. It's safe to heal. It's safe to heal. It's safe to take action. It's safe to take action. I listen to my inner wisdom. I listen to my inner wisdom. I know what to do. I know what to do. I listen to my body. I listen to my body. I listen to my heart. I listen to my heart. All the answers are within. All the answers are within. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I'm expanding my capacity to receive. I'm expanding my capacity to receive. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. It's safe to receive all the good the universe has for me. It's safe to receive all the good the universe has for me. I let go of the past with ease. I let go of the past with ease. I trust the process of life. 
And I trust the process of life. I forgive everyone, including myself. I forgive everyone, including myself. And I set myself free. And I set myself free. I love feeling surprisingly clear. I love feeling surprisingly clear. I love feeling inspired and motivated. I love feeling inspired and motivated. I love knowing I'm safe and protected at all times. I love knowing I'm safe and protected at all times. Wherever I go. Wherever I go. Whatever I do. Whatever I do. Whatever I say. Whatever I say. I am safe. I am safe. Life loves me. Life loves me. All is well. All is well. Close your eyes, deep breath. Zero to 10, all this struggle. Life is a struggle. This despair. I think more like a two or a three. Wonderful, what are you present to? How are you feeling? I feel like I truly like I'm starting to just let go, give up that kind of the stuff that's not working. And it's really funny because when I met you, Kate, I was also worried about my neighborhood, which is the same neighborhood I'm sitting in now where there are like gunshots outside and all this stuff. And oh. I think unfortunately, I'm just like a little too attached to like a deal and like yeah, Barbie is like, I remember yeah, that, she was at that workshop. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm back in the same apartment and it's like, it's hard to like leap into, you know, a nicer apartment that has no furniture where I know I have to pay a lot and all this stuff, but it's like, I need a fresh start and I need to kind of make peace with what I've, the decisions I've made so far, but also like, I have this odd attraction to this space and it's like really no longer serving me at all. Like, even if it's inexpensive, it's like giving me like ulcers. Mm -hmm. So, and that was the same thing when I met you last time. It's like, mm -hmm. it's coming in a cycle. So it's like, I need to move on. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah, very, a lot of clarity in terms yeah. of like, okay, this is an old pattern and it's time to shift. Yeah. Yeah. And so what's your inner wisdom saying? Good lies ahead. There were certain things that you said where I was like, oh, that sounds so great. I got to write that down. Like good lies ahead was one mm -hmm. of them. And I can't remember the others, but we'll get this recording and I'll listen to it back. Right? Yes, okay. yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank Keep you happy. so much. Kate. Yeah, we're okay. going to do, do some affirmations for the, for the final round. Um, and deep breath, everyone. Uh, any questions, thoughts, comments before we move forward? So this is a, an introduction. I, I am going to, um, I'm bringing out a new program called Receive. And it's all about clearing blocks to receiving. And that part of us is, is always giving, but not really getting our needs met. And um, it's a wonderful class on clearing blocks to receiving. Guilt, you know, letting go of guilt, shame, fear, worry, all the negative emotions that we can have and the old beliefs, like I'm not good enough or I don't have what it takes. So um, I'm gonna put that in the link if you're interested. And if anyone wants to have a session, you can sign up for a consultation. And I also have the 21 days of abundance tapping videos where you get a video every day. And that's a really nice way to uh, keep the tapping alive. Uh, any questions, thoughts, comments? I know, Tama, would you like a turn or do you have any questions? Because I know you're new to tapping. Oh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying seeing and being able to do this. And I, I, I'm getting an individual session with you. Oh, but, yeah, I would love to work with you. Good. I'm so glad. I have, to I have my grandson in the other room, so I'm kind of distracted a little bit. You're but, welcome. But, but this is... <laughs> but I'm still getting so much out of it. Oh, you. good. Yeah, I'm so glad. It's lovely to meet you. Yes, glad you made it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. We're going to do one more round. Who would like a turn for the final round? Bobby. 
I can, I can never pass it up. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's so good to see you. Happy New Year, Bobby. Thank Happy you. New Year to everyone. Always good to see you, especially Marguerite. Um, and before you share, um, Bobby, I just want to put the, I'm going to put the new program in the, um, in the chat. It's no, abundance tapping. Anyway, so. yeah. What was that? I mean, obviously I'm going to sign up for it anyway. So wow. I'll put it in the chat. Oh, and Katie England says, um, I heard a great quote this or this week about receiving. I was born to receive so that I can become a channel to then give it away. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. It's just like the importance of, um, we, we, you know, it's our birthright to be abundant and to receive. And from that place, we really can be um, a you know make a difference and give more we need to fill up the well first so that we're nourished and then we can give from that full place versus being depleted and over giving thank you katie i love that so there's the link um it's a, it's a program that um were you going to say something margarita she's unmuted mm -mm. Oh, okay good um so it begins in February, it's six weeks, comes with a private session and also the Koya dance class too. So anyway, um, and again, if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, you can have um, email me for a consultation. All right, Barbie, tell me how I can best support you. Um, I think just um, bringing in abundance and letting go of uh, fear of shining, um, like on an, a new level of that not just visually, but um, I, I feel like I've gotten some abundance in my work world that has given, risen me to um, um, up level. So um, blocks to up leveling, I guess. Yeah, what number is that zero to 10? I think it's at a five. And the primary emotion? I'm not deserving. And this is a very common belief. I'm not deserving of love or abundance or good. What's your theory about why you're not deserving? Well, I feel like I haven't done enough work to do that, or I haven't cleared enough clutter to receive the up leveling. Mm, okay, I got to let go of more stuff. Yeah, which could could be true, right? Sometimes we do need to clear the clutter. So that's your homework this week, everyone. Just like do a good purge and clutter clearing of the mind, the body, and the physical clutter, and watch the magic happen. Okay. Karate chop point. And then again, tap along, change the words anytime. Even though I have this old limiting belief that I don't deserve success, love, or abundance. Even though I have this old belief that I don't deserve success, love, or abundance. And I don't know how to let this go. And I don't know how to let this go. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. Maybe it doesn't feel safe. I can't relax about this. I can't relax about this. I have to be on guard to be on guard i have to protect myself i have to protect myself but i accept who i am i have a, i oh my god i i accept who i am I accept who I am. <laughs> and i appreciate my feelings and i appreciate my feelings close your eyes deep breath everyone <sighs> even though part of me thinks i'm not worthy or deserving of success love and abundance you know, part of me thinks I'm not deserving or worthy of a success, love, and abundance. And I'm open. Up hmm? And up leveling. And up leveling. I'm open to the possibility I can let this go. I'm open to the possibility that I can let this go. And empower the part of me. And empower the part of me. That feels surprisingly calm and confident. That feels surprisingly calm and confident. I love knowing I have everything I need to receive. I love knowing I have everything I need to succeed. It is safe to succeed and shine. It is safe to succeed and shine. Life loves me. Life loves me. The universe has my back. The universe has my back. And then we're going here. This old belief that I don't deserve success and abundance. This old belief that I don't deserve success and abundance side of the eyes all these blocks to up leveling all these blocks to up leveling underneath the eyes all this fear of shining and being seen all this fear of shining and being seen now it's this part of me that thinks i'm not deserving or worthy 
of success, love, and abundance. Part of me that thinks I'm not deserving or worthy of success, love, and abundance, and up-leveling. And up-leveling. What if that's not true? What if that's not true? Paula, but what if I am worthy and deserving of up-leveling and succeeding and shining on a whole new level? What if that's not true and I am deserving and worthy of up leveling and receiving new levels of abundance and love in new areas. Mm. I really want to get myself out of the way. I really want to get myself out of the way. And be open to receiving a new level of success, love, and abundance now. And be open to receiving a new level of success, love, and abundance now. I choose to let go of anything that's no longer serving me. I choose to let go of anything that's no longer serving me. I let go of physical clutter. I let go of all the physical clutter. I let go of mental clutter. I let go of mental clutter and digital I, clutter. Yeah. The more I let go, the more magic and abundance and love comes to me now. The more I let go, the more magic and abundance comes to me now. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I let go of being general manager of the universe. I let go of being general manager of the universe. And I give this to the universe to handle. And I give this to the universe to handle. I don't need to do it all by myself. I don't need to do this all by myself. It's safe to shine. It's safe to shine. It's safe to succeed. It's safe to succeed. It's safe to be me. It's safe to be me. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I love feeling calm and peaceful. I'm raising my vibration. I'm raising my vibration. I'm a magnet for good. I'm a magnet for good. I love knowing everything's working out for me. I love knowing everything is working out for me. It's safe to up level. It's safe to up level. It's safe to receive. It's safe to receive. A new level of love, abundance, and vitality in my life now. Level of success, abundance, vitality, wealth, uh, clarity, um, and physical space in my life. Keep tapping. Tell me more about what you want to bring in, Bobby. And um, then you're all on mute, so tap about your vision and what you want to bring in. I want to bring in more freedom and space to move around, meaning clutter. I also want to have a clear vision of what I, photos I want to choose for my website and actually do the work on getting them to my photographer and making the decisions so that I can move forward at that because that was um, a big milestone of doing the photos and then having a vision for them and that's great but now at the next um, part is to get those out there. Beautiful. It's safe to shine and succeed. It's safe to shine and succeed. I'm allowed to shine and succeed. I'm allowed to shine and succeed. I deserve to shine and succeed. I deserve to shine and succeed. I give myself permission to up-level my life. I give myself permission to up-level my life. Receive a new level of abundance and love now. Receive a new level of abundance and love now. I call my power back. I call my power back. From all dimensions of time and space. From all dimensions of time and space. I love feeling calm and confident. I love feeling calm and confident. Life loves me. Life loves me. I'm so excited about this new chapter. Oh, so excited about this new chapter. You have no idea. I am so ready to let go of everything that no longer serves me. I am so ready to let go of everything that no longer serves me. It's safe to release this clutter. It's safe to release all of the clutter. Mind, body, and physical clutter. <coughs> Mind, body, physical, and digital clutter. I, and digital. I let go of the need for all this stuff. I let go of all of the need for stuff from the unnecessary more. screenshots to papers. The more I let go, the more the magic happens. The more I let go, the more the magic happens. I let go of the past with ease. I let go of the past with ease. And I trust the process of life. And I trust the process of life. I love receiving more good in my life. I love receiving so much good in my life. It's safe to receive more good in my life. 
It is so safe to receive more good in my life. I'm expanding my capacity to receive. I'm constantly expanding my capacity to receive. I listen to my inner wisdom. I listen to my inner wisdom. I know what to do. I know what to do. It's safe to relax and enjoy the journey. It's safe to relax and enjoy the journey. Life loves me. Life loves me. All is well. All is well. Close your eyes. Deep breath. 1.25. Wow, very cool. So you've come from a, a, a five to a 1.25. What are you present to? How are you feeling? I just feel that it's possible. Great. And, and uh, which I, I don't normally yawn that much during sessions. Yawning is also good. because I had a lot of night sweats last night. But mm -hmm. either way, mm -hmm. I am present to resting and then decluttering. I'm like, like, taking a moment to like rest get a game plan and then declutter. Love that. Beautiful, Bobby. Great work. Thank you. So um, any final questions, thoughts, comments? Take a deep breath. Notice what you're present to and just see what's your inner wisdom saying? What's the next right action as you move forward? And it could be take a nap. It could be clear your clutter. It could be drink more water. Um, call a friend, have a date, whatever it is, follow that inner guidance, that next inspired action and move forward. And um, if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, feel free to unmute yourself before we wrap up. And if you want to join the receive program, the link is in the comments. How are you doing, Katie? It's good to see you. I'm doing well. Um, Barbie, I appreciated that you brought in digital clutter because I first, yeah. when I started working with Kate, I was really inspired to clear out physical clutter, but lately I've been on a digital clutter clearing kick and it's been really powerful. So uh, yes, I brought that up. Yay. Wonderful. Yeah, I know that digital clutter. Seriously. Thank you. Great to see you, Katie. Um, drink lots of water. Karen, it's good to see you. How is the class for you? Feel free to comment if you want. Yeah, it was it was great. I loved everybody, what they contributed. It, it was very relevant for me, except wow. the part about clear and clutter because I'm a minimalist. That's um, great. <laughs> I have no clutter. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's more the emotional clutter that we need to let go of. Okay, lovelies, sending you all much love. Email me if you need a consultation or if you need any support or if you'd like to join the program. And feel free to say anything as we wrap up. Thank you. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Sherry. It was awesome. Thanks, Marguerite, Karen. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks, I'm going to 